You ever watch somebody just glide through a rapid like they're floating on top of it like a magic carpet ride but you run the same rapid and just sink into it and just get all churned around in all the boily white water and wonder how they do it is it the boat is it the technique i'm going to share a secret with you guys i call it the lock-in <laughs> really know why this isn't talked about more often but the lock-in it's pretty simple it's a pretty simple move the reality is that every time you kayak you should be kayaking with your full body it should be every stroke should be a full body maneuver the thing is our core and our abs are not often strong enough to constantly be engaged and so we have to paddle in a more relaxed way some of the time but the real secret to paddling extremely squirrely, boily white water, uh, especially down eddy lines, is learning a simple technique that I call the lock-in. Get some speed up as you approach that boily obstacle that you're looking at, so wherever you see the water boiling up or when you know it's going to get a bit squirrely, make sure that you have good haul speed by taking a few good strokes. From there, it's simple. Keep paddling, but also push with your feet and lift with your knees at the same time. Your core should engage, and what that does is it locks you in front to back, but you still have the mobility side to side, and you don't really have to do much. You can edge if you need to, but stay locked in, and keep paddling just enough to maintain your speed. If you do it right, you'll glide right over all of those obstacles, and you'll get a weird floaty feeling, and you'll just cruise through a bunch of random boils. It won't throw you off at all. Let's look at two clips for examples on the lock-in. So if you look at this first clip, I didn't lock it in, so I dropped in and notice how the boils have caught me and I'm getting tossed from side to side as I approach. I still pull my boof, but let's see what it looks like when I use the lock-in. So in this clip, I kept my speed and just cruised through. It's like the boils weren't even there. The difference is I engaged my core in the second video. Here's what the lock-in opens up for you. Suddenly, you can start using what we call the green highways on big water runs. Instead of just staying in all the waves that you can't see past, and depending on the peak to scout ahead, you can start paddling the eddy lines and cruising through the boily water that most people are afraid of. And as long as you maintain your speed and you're locked in, you'll just cruise along like it's not even there. So then you can follow the eddy lines from eddy line to eddy line to eddy line to eddy line to eddy line, line. And what happens is you're cruising through these green highways of water that would be really boily and you would sink into and get all messed up otherwise. It just opens up new lines. It opens up new doors and new paths to running more complex whitewater. It'll simplify things for you in a way that just gives you another option. The next time you're on the river, take every opportunity you can to lock it in, push with your feet, lift with your knees, engage your core, and try to link eddy lines. All right, guys, we're on the Big South Fork. Gonna play with those lock-ins. I think we can find plenty all around us. It's gonna be good. Then this one, we've got a nice, good rapid where most people tend to avoid all the way left. Really boily. There's a lot of that funny water involved and a lot of eddy lines, pretty strong. I'm gonna just choose that to practice the lock-in because a lot of times that, that water that a lot of people don't want is exactly where you want to be if you're trying to learn how to lock it in and use your core to float over all of that difficult white water. Making sure you have speed. So as you have that speed, you just approach with an angle. Pushing with my feet, knees engaged. Get right through. It's nice and boily. 
Deep and good. Don't let it go. I'm going to paddle toward the boily, squirrely looking water with some speed. Push with my feet, lift with my knees, and lock it in. If you like this video on lock ins, make sure that you like and subscribe. I'm always looking for ideas, so if you have any other ones, leave them in the comments. Or if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments as well, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Have a good one. See you guys on the river.